Hello everyone, Zikor here, and here's the first, or not first, probably first, I don't know when this is going to go up, but um, one of the special videos for hitting fi the f milestone of 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to review my account, uh, I haven't done this in a long time, but um, people still ask me to do it, and every time I tell them that my account basically has not changed since last time, but I mean, might as well do it since so many people are asking and uh, we've hit this milestone. So this risks to be a long video. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to like not waste a lot of time with my explanation and shit. So we're going to jump straight into it and basically go over everything out. So 18k crowns, these um, mostly come from um, uh, back in the day I used to be in a very active clan. And my clan got a first place on the clan ladder like a few times in a row and a few times we got uh, in the top three so that's basically where most of my crowns come from and nowadays I get crowns from <laughs> uh, free riding um, in my current clan which is sinister which I'll show at the end um, I'm rank uh, 66 uh, no mega VIP or anything of course um, 100 115 thousand Morphe stars and two thousand credits this is from <coughs> the cashback event uh, <coughs> that happened uh, some time ago um, <coughs> Speeds was kind enough to give me gift me a, a twenty dollars steam gift card and this is uh, the cashback from that um, okay let, well we're gonna s jump straight into it with the inventory so I'm gonna start with uh, rifleman here so I'm just going to scroll through all the items I have and any, if any of them need any comment or like showcase, I'll, I'll be sure to do so. Um, here's the first one. There won't, there probably won't be that many of them because all the guns are coming back. But um, So here's the LMG240. Uh, I think it used to be a vendor... Uh, oh wait, wait a second. They removed the recoil on this. I didn't even know. Did they mention that in the patch? Or am I just imagining things? Anyways, um, here's what the gun looks like. Uh, it's not that obvious, obviously compared to the newest uh, LMGs, it won't be anything, but... Uh, I think it used to be a, a vendor LMG. Not sure about that. Don't take my word for that. Uh, and that's how it, what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if anything needs... Uh, showcasing like that one I will go through the, the process of doing so but probably won't happen because I don't have much this gold power you might be wondering how I got it and the video of it is actually on my channel I won it from a giveaway uh, from an official Warface stream giveaway so that means that back when Crytek uh, published the game they used to do these streams where they gave out uh, free uh, permanent gold weapons and uh, I won the gold para when they were giving it away. And then we get to the temporary items. And I know a lot of people like to clean their, uh, remove these and clean their inventory. But I like to keep them to like have uh, as kind of like souvenirs, you know. <coughs> oh my god, my voice. Uh, yeah, so you see like this. Uh, I see it like it reminds me of back when the there was the World Cup event and all that shit. Uh, I don't know why I have. T27 there. New Year CCR. I don't know if we're going to get a New Year event this time around or not. I feel like I must have, have to add more than this. But anyways, that's what I have. Uh, then we go to pistols. Uh, no, nothing special here either. I don't think I have anything rare. Uh, Q19 might be considered rare. But I'm pretty sure they gave it away like 5 million times in different codes and situations. It's not that good of a pistol. Uh, I might do a gameplay with it in the future if you guys want. And speaking of that, uh, now that you're seeing my inventory, let me know if there's any gun in particular that you want me to do a video on. I'll see what I can do, but no promises. So yeah, this is what it looks like. This is how it is with the silencer. 
that's the real of it. Uh, we continue on. Um, get the gun glove that came back recently, so I don't need to talk about it. And uh, yeah, there's not much really to talk about anymore. <laughs> and then we get on to the knives. Uh, again, nothing special here either. The Black Hawk used to be rare, <coughs> but I'm pretty sure that also they gave away like a million times. Uh, nothing else that comes to mind here to talk about. The second Christmas, uh, I'm pretty sure, second Christmas after the game launched, uh, there was these random boxes for every class that had their special items, uh, special themed item uh, permanent. Which is why I have um, two permanent uh, Christmas ammo packs right here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm. Th I think since the Christmas event is still ongoing two month, uh, two months after Christmas, and uh, that they automatically reskinned everyone's ammo box to look like this. That's why the default one looks like this. But I have a separate default one, so after the event ends, I'm still gonna be able to use uh, the skin on it. Uh, then nothing special on in here. Uh, same there, consumables, I have these gold na uh, smoke nades, I don't know where they came from, I never used them, uh, yeah, and Halloween grenades came back, so I don't need to demonstrate them for you guys, helmets, um, have all the free ones, of, of course, not, nothing, none of the paid ones, I mean, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> not necessarily paid one, but, uh, not any of the credit stuff, then we get to the armors, I mean uh, the vests, you can see here's like one of the old items that I keep. The, I really prefer the, how the uh, crown set used to look like, I don't like the new look of it. This looked a lot more badass in my opinion. And then we get to the gloves, nothing special here either, again the gloves. It might, the the crown gloves might have looked worse, but the rest, most of them looked uh, way better in my opinion. And then we get to the shoes, crown boots, yeah. Uh, no boosters, of course, because uh, I'm a free sc free to play scrub. And weapon skins, I have these ones from free riding with my clan. <laughs> uh, these ones they gave it, these uh, third anniversary ones. So what they did is that. Uh, at the third anniversary, they gave this to everyone who was considered a veteran player, so uh, who had played uh, for a very long time. I don't remember what the requirement was. But they also put it in the shop for for a direct purchase, so uh, for credits, of course. So it was like kind of defeated the purpose of reward of it being like the special skin that's rewarding veterans. But I mean, I still got free skins, so who cares? Uh, obviously, the fourth anniversary ones. I really liked how they look, and they gave it to everyone. Yeah, that's it for rifle. Now we're gonna get on to medic. Um, again here, same concept, nothing special. Uh, especially since medic is not my favorite class, uh, my least played class, I should say. <coughs> uh, here you see, very much nothing special. Uh, th there used to be this uh, camo set named basic, and it was basically. Oh, you see what I did there? <laughs> it was uh, the the no. It was a set of weapons that was weaker than their original counterparts. So I don't know why the heck they came up with the idea of that uh, camo set, but <laughs> uh, yeah, this is what they did with that. I don't remember when I got the US 12 for temporary. And yeah, that's it. The pistols and that all the same. I don't have any special um, defibs or med kits because like I said I don't play medic armor uh, same again nothing special vests Ooh. alarm clock they're going off um, vests here you can see them same thing again I'm just gonna disable my alarm clock at the same time doing this hashtag multitasking <laughs> uh, then gloves uh, same thing, like I'm, I, I told you guys, like there's nothing really special about my inventory really, such a peasant's inventory, you know, 
Uh, now on the engineer class, a bit more looks a bit more promising because um, I've gotten I've been lucky with quite a few guns. The CCR I got it in less than five boxes, and I didn't even want it. This obviously for the migration. This I also think I got it in in like five boxes or less, and I didn't want it either. AC7 I got it uh, because. Um, they did this thing where anyone who was unlocking any weapon, I think in closed beta, they gave them the weapon straight up. Um, if you were halfway done with unlocking it, they still gave it to you. Like, no matter how much progress you had on unlocking the item, they would give it to you. So, that's why I got this. Uh, the events of the... De de the details of the events... <laughs> of the events where I got this, uh, I'm not sure about. I don't recall uh, completely. So that's not exactly how it went, but y you get the idea kind of. Oh my god, this guy. The Karkam SMG Crown used to be like the most broken and sexy weapon in the game. Some people just like bought it and just hip fired with it all day long. I didn't actually buy it for that long. Um, I didn't like, I, I don't like using, um, even though it's the Karkam, yeah, I know it, it might sound weird, but I don't really like using e easy weapons and I. Back then, I used to be a lot more active, so I tried to play with harder weapons more often. Okay, I should remove that, because I have a perm. So I didn't actually rent it for, I think, like one week, or no, not even one week, like if one day. And I played with it very little, which I really do regret. Uh, another basic skin. Uh, and yeah, actually, I really like this gun. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a good version of it and uh, I also like the UMP a lot but I think it's become shit <laughs> like utter shit and this the S18G I also got the same way I got the AC7 uh, let me change my weapon back and yeah nothing special there either um, the helmets again same thing nothing special this is what the engine uh, the old crown one looks like used to look like uh, vests, nothing special, gloves, there we go, and then we get to boots, which here are the ones I have. Uh, now sniper, um, I have, yeah, I have most of the credit box uh, weapons, and I got all of them back when they were in Warface dollar random boxes, of course. The Miller was um, one of the only guns that I had to farm really really hard to get I spent a lot of money on getting the Miller back when it was the meta sniper uh, I went uh, I, I farmed PV even to get it um, <coughs> uh, the scout I got it in less than five boxes and I didn't even want it the video of it is on my channel the RBA also uh, I got it in the RBA I, I spent a lot of money on it but didn't get it and then they released crown boxes and I got it very quickly. Uh, the video of that is on my channel as well. And it's my second favorite sniper. Uh, TWM, same thing as the Miller kind of. After I got the Scout uh, and I had like the Miller as well, I everyone was, uh, the TWM was starting to become meta and I just saw everyone playing with it out. I just fell in love with it and I really wanted it. And then I spent a lot of money and finally got it. I think I played with it like a few months and then I just put it aside because uh, I play uh, a lot better with the Scout than I do the with the X-08. So uh, I do really like the gun, but I, uh, since I don't do as as good with it as I do with uh, Scout or the Miller, I don't use it as often anymore as I used to. Sorry for the ASMR here. <laughs> it... I think it's going to be really bad since the video is going to be drawn out. TWM basic, as if the normal TWM wasn't bad enough. There's also basic camo for it. I don't know why I have the Miller temporary here. And then there's nothing special, probably. Nope. Okay. And yeah, that does it for the weaponry and gear. If you have any questions about any gun, please let me know. Or if you want me to make a video on any particular gun, also feel free to let me know. 
And now we'll go on to the stats. <laughs> so, um, three legendary tier uh, weapons unlocked, 266 challenges completed, uh, 1300 missions. Uh, yeah, you can. You guys can read it. I won't read everyone, every one of them. Uh, my PvP uh, win loss ratio. Now it might sound like I'm bitching, but the main reason it's <coughs> it's not super like good is because I used to be like this super storm storm game mode fanboy, and I really tried 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 really hard to get the 1,000 storm wins badge, and so the problem with that is that. In Storm, you really need a team to actually win. So there was a lot of games where my team was actually like ass crap, and I was just there like getting farmed or like or like trying to survive through all the spawn trapping and everything. And my team was just like getting the floor mopped with them. And yeah, most of the games I lost them. Uh, it's really hard to win Storm games if you don't have a good team to support you. My KD. Um, it used to be 1.8 and ever since a few months ago, like maybe even a year ago, it has been steadily declining. Um, but thankfully, uh, I do have a lot of kills and, and deaths, so it does take a lot of bad games for it to drop by by even the smallest uh, amount. So uh, I, I, I don't really care about stats, but I do care about stats. Uh, KD probably the most important one because it gives that like initial impression of you but yeah my KD is 1.7 uh, and it's steadily declining uh, so it's not really representative of uh, my KD the KD that I have nowadays usually I get a lower KD than that like between 1 and 1.7 um, they they should add a like recent KD or something like that to make it more accurate total playtime uh, 1600 hours the last time I did a video like this, I think it was like one hours or one one thousand hours or something. And then the, these ones, like, they don't matter. Like, why do they not put like total money accumulated instead of just copy pasting that? What's the point? Uh, then missions, uh, left matches. I don't know if that's considered high, but I'm really like, if I join a game and it's boring, I I don't give a shit. I'll just leave right away. That means like if I join an FFA, it's like there's like three people, I'm just gonna leave straight up. Or even um, something that happens a lot of times is that I join a TDM and the other team, my team is just spawn trapping the other one. So it's really not fun. I just straight up leave. So um, that's the reason why it might be. If that's considered high, that that might be. Th those are the reasons for for it being so high. Um, 250k. Uh, enemies killed gives you an idea of why uh, how many deaths I have and why my KD drops so slowly favorite class rifleman longest kill seek 27 yada 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 um, about a bit less than half uh, of my kills are headshots uh, 100k out of 250k and then we get the co-op stats Who, does anyone really care about co-op <laughs> anyways uh, there you go. Um, for the classes, 23 average. Uh, FY103 is not my actual, f actually my favorite weapon, but it's, it seems like it's always the most reliable weapon for me to use. Like, even though they they changed it a bit and made it less uh, tap fire friendly, um, it's still like it, before that before the changes, I used it like really really often, and so I have 600. Si nearly 650 hours with it uh, in PvP. A uh, bit in PvE too, but mostly in PvP. But it's not actually my favorite weapon. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to talk about my favorite weapons. I could do that in a later video because I don't want this video to drag out too long. Uh, medic, not really important. <laughs> okay, this one might be a very, very weird, but the reason why the favorite weapon here is the FY AY552 is because. Um, Back when, uh, back when I used to play a lot more actively, and I used to play Engineer a lot more, this was pretty much the best gun that I had. That's why it's the my u most used one, but it's definitely not my favorite weapon. Uh, and then Sniper, same thing. I fucking hate Everest so much that I used it. Um, 
there was a time when if you the only free bolt action sniper was either the Everest or the M217. Everything else it was like either out of reach because it was out of the vendor rotation or it was in credit random boxes so you couldn't get them. And by the time the weapons came into the Warface Law random boxes, I had already mastered the Everest, which is why it's my only sni sni it's my only master sniper, which is why it's also my favorite one here. Favorite as in most use, of course. Uh, then we go to career. Uh, everything unlocked here except these three. I one year <laughs> I will get this, <laughs> hopefully. Everything here is unlocked, here as well. Okay, now get to the badges. I'm gonna s uh, show the ones that I'm closest to unlocking and then show the, the ones that I have, of course. Okay, so uh, the MT-19, I it's one of my favorite SMGs, so I have uh, around a few thousand kills with it. The Karkum SMG Crown, the old one, here you see I have only 1,500 kills with it, uh, which is a shame. I, I wish I had the badge for it. Then we go up, uh, I used to use this gun a lot, it used to be a very popular SMG. Um, what else? CCR probably is the, the one I use the most. You see it's really close to the AY-552. And it's not because I really like the weapon, it's because it's the most like, it's over, it was overall the most reliable one I've ever, I've always had. Um, 596 free fall wins, I know that everyone's on that free-for-all trend of like getting this uh, ugly looking badge or mark uh, but I'm not on that trend wait what I have more kills with the uh, this AC7 but a wife 552 is my favorite what doesn't make sense uh, I don't remember when I used to use this often but <laughs> I guess I use this the most um, nothing special else here nothing else special here then we get to the ones I've unlocked. Um, 2013, uh, one of the first uh, achievements I unlocked here. And then we go up. Um, I'm gonna slowly go through them. I don't. This you can't get anymore because there used to be uh, leaderboards for for PVE, but they removed them. So there was different categories for. Uh, and during the loading screen, you would see the top uh, teams who got the best scores in that category. So, for example, there was uh, nade kills, there was melee kills, there was score, there was uh, f uh, time, and so on. Uh, m there might have been an, uh, one or two others, but that's how it went. Um, 100 storm wins, we're getting there. The gun glove achievements, which aren't rare anymore. Uh, I feel like the ASMR in this video is going to be real bad. <laughs> um, with all the... Whatever. Uh, this... I don't look like how it looks. I think they did a really poor job with designing that one. Uh, got the 50 wins in 2015. Holy shit, three years ago already? Damn. And then here we had the, the spearhead missions and all that released. Uh, uh, 1,000 TDM wins, that's the first 1,000 I got. Uh, 10,000 kills with the M91, it's my favorite pistol, that's why I mastered it. Uh, and then we have the legendary 1,000 storm wins. I think I was like the third or fourth person on the on NA to get it, which is, you know, I'm really proud of that. <laughs> uh, I, have a, I actually have grenade mastery as well. That's uh, in big part thanks to Storm as well because if you find the right spots on on Storm maps to throw the nades at, you'll y usually get like a few a good few grenadiers every game. So if I I have a lot of spots grenade spots to show on Storm maps, if you guys want a guide on that in the future, and then we get to the um, least less active. Uh, times my play times less active and <laughs> you get the idea okay i i started playing less and less uh, here on and we get to the most recent 10 tdm <laughs> airbase wins i really hate that map uh i usually just leave the game if i put uh, get put in that in a game from on that map 
um, the Foy LMG. Uh, that gun used to be really, really good, and I really, really liked it, uh, which is why I have so many kills with it. And the peg, uh, the normal peg was also one of the re first good shotguns that I unlocked. Um, so that's why I have 3,000 kills with it. And not that many achievements here. Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, well, not that many achievements there. Uh, I got this five kills with grenade pretty early on. Um, 30th there. And my first one here was on the 10th, I think. On the 6th. So, so about a month after I started playing, I got this one. But I know a lot of people either unlocked that very late or um, still don't even have it. Uh, then we go on. There's not that many badges that I actually like. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna scroll through them. I like this one a lot. Uh, one year anniversary. Good old days. Then we go on. Um, 1000 Grenadiers. Again, thanks to Storm. Uh, 2500 Brain Smashers. That's like the pro. A uh, badge that everyone uh, wants to get, but it took me a long time to get it, so don't think highly of me just because I have it. Uh, then we get to the rifles. Um, I mean the stripes. Oh, I'm missing rifles. Okay. Um, I have very little kills with the scout, despite getting it very, uh, very long time ago. In comparison, I have six thousand kills with the AR Gar. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's, that's the advanced mastery, that's why it's there. Uh, very little kills with Radic. I want to master a TWM, but it's a really big pain in the ass to use it uh, with all the hit markers and everything. Even the t x 2 you see, I have only 3,600 kills with it. Like Nowadays, I'm really uh, I'm really inconsistent with sni what snipers I use, so it will be like 2020 by the time <laughs> I uh, actually uh, master another sniper. Uh, I used to use this gun a lot. It used to be quite a popular weapon as well. RBA, like I said, is one of my favorite weapons. This gun used to be, a, this gun used to be very rare and very reliable. Not anymore, of course. Miller about halfway there with the mastery. Uh, then we get to R16. Now this might be surprising because, because of how I say like, I hate the R16 and, and I actually never use it despite having it, but. Before it became meta, I actually used it quite a uh, quite a bit, um, which is why I have uh, 6,000 kills with it, uh, approximately. AR Gar, M217, I've used that pretty a lot, surprisingly. Oh my god, I'm pretty close to the second, the advanced master of the FY there. And then we get to the unlocked ones, of course. Um, yeah, nothing to comment on here. The World Cup when that came around. The Karkum, obviously my favorite. Probably my favorite assault rifle still, um, which is why I have it uh, mastered. Then there's nothing really special. Got the FY Master so much that I fucking used it. Everest, same thing. This, uh, for the longest time, it was my favorite. Uh, melee weapon, which is why uh, I master it, but now I think uh, the Jack Commando kind of right is contesting that spot uh, with the Blackhawk, against the Blackhawk, which is why it's there. Uh, Karkum SNR, I'm, this, it has the same stripe as the normal Karkum SNR th does, uh, but I actually used the navy blue one to get this, and the only reason I got this is because it's a Karkum weapon, it's not because I actually like the gun or um, uh, y liked using it. It's just because I had the gun and I, the stripe is the same, so I wanted to unlock it. And then we go on with the shitty achievements, and yeah, it finishes there. Uh, the clan, I'm gonna have to blur this, but I'm in Sinister, of course. Um, then somebody wanted to see my controls, so I'm just, just going to show those real quick. Um, here you can see all my controls. Uh, some of the stuff that might have some weird configuration, it's just because I don't ever use them. Like numpad, star, I don't even use these two, so that's why they're there. 
uh, I have toggle everything. Uh, I'm about that toggle life. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's for the controls. <coughs> Gameplay for the <coughs> for the crosshair, I like to stick to the classic ones. So <coughs> this one or this one. I know that this is the like professional crosshair to use, but um, <coughs> I don't really like using it. It looks pretty ugly and it's meta. It's really mainstream, so <coughs> those are probably two reasons I don't use them. And some people sometimes ask me why I have the the, uh, the full scaled cross crosshair, and that's um, uh, to simply or I said hit marker actually, and that's simply to really sav savor the that feeling you get when you headshot someone but they tank and are left with one HP. I really get a you know, it really makes me feel good when I get that full hit mark on my screen. It's like, oh yes, that guy just tanked my headshot yet again. You know, <laughs> that's totally not sarcastic. Um, yeah, nothing else special. I play on everything high, but shaders, I don't like the the kind of blur and uh, the kind of cinematic look that it gives to the game. I don't really like it. Uh, audio, nothing special, and social, yeah. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully this video wasn't too long. I don't have a timer to see how long it lasted. But if you have any questions, any suggestions, anything related to this video, please let me know. And like I said, if you want me to use it. Why is this train passing now? What the fuck? Well, that's not the train. Oh, that's the these trucks to like collect the snow. Because over here in Canada, the snow is like 24 hours straight. Not even joking, a few days ago it snowed for like 24 hours straight, but I'm getting off topic. Thank you everyone for watching this video, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.